stretch forth his hands to vex certain of the church. You see, the enemy stretched forth his hands to vex the church in recent days. And he killed, this is Herod, the spirit of Jezebel is inside of him. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. I'm here to tell you that you will not die. I'm here to tell you that the sword will not touch you. I'm here to prophesy to you that the situation shall not kill you. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. You see, the enemy may have been permitted to take some, but he's not permitted to take you. He may have been permitted to take others, but when it comes to you, there is a stop order on the sword of the enemy. When it comes to your family, when it comes to your life and your destiny, there is a stop order that God has placed on your career, on your education, on your ministry, on your marriage. The sword shall not touch you. My God, my God, my God. I'm feeling this already. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison. Somebody said prison. And delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. I want to give you a little insight into what Herod, that wicked king, did. You see, there are some wicked kings that have power in the earth right now. There are some wicked kings that are possessed with the spirit of Jezebel. Their intent and their aim is to destroy the people of God, is to destroy the church. Everything that you have seen happening from December last year up until April, May this year, its intent was to shut down and to lock down the church. But I'm here to say again that you can't kill what Jesus gave birth to. You can't destroy it. You can't destroy what God is preparing for his own purpose. Herod delivered Peter to four quaternions of soldiers. I want you to understand what is happening. A quaternion is a band of four soldiers. And four quaternions is 16 soldiers to keep one man. One man who don't know how to fight. One man who don't know how to wield a sword. I know this because Peter took a sword and went for a man's neck and got the man's ears. So the man is not skilled in swordmanship. But the man has something else inside of him that the enemy is afraid of. You see, there is a grace that is in you that God is about to unleash upon the world. There is a grace that is in you that God is about to release upon the nations. And the enemy is afraid of it. That is why he got 16 men to guard one man. Four quaternions of soldiers. One man, the Bible says, can possess a legion of demons yeah. inside of him. Yeah. According to Roman history, yeah. a legion is anywhere from 3,000 to 7,000 men. So I want you to understand this. So let's tap into the spirit realm and understand what is going on. The devil was using 16 men. So at the upper echelon, it is 16 times 7. 7,000, 112,000 demons for one man at the upper echelon. If you're in the middle, it is uh, 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 16 times 6,000, 96,000 demons for one man if you are in the middle. And if you're at the lower echelon, like John the Baptist, which they say is the least uh, 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 of, of the prophets, but Jesus said he's the greatest of the prophets. And if you are the least of the saints, the devil still has 3,000 demons in one man. So it's 3,000 times 16, it's 48,000 demons. So if you're at the lower echelon, 48 8,000 demons are after you. If you're at the middle, the, uh, according to Roman uh, numbering, it is, it is, it is what? Uh, 112, uh, no, 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 for uh, 96,000. And if you're at the upper, 112,000. So Peter was being guarded, not by 16 men, but by 112,000 demons. I want you to understand something here today. I'm about to expose some things in the realm of the spirit. You see, the devil is not just after 
you. He is after what you carry. He is after the grace that is inside of you. He is after the anointing that is upon your life. My God, my God, my God. So when you think you are just fighting one man, no, 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 no. You are fighting either, either 96,000 demons, 112,000 demons, or 48,000 demons. This warfare is not normal. Come on, somebody. I said, this warfare is not normal. I said, this warfare is not normal. It is not normal. It is not normal. But there is something supernatural about this jailbreaker. Something supernatural is about to take place. It's a supernatural. My God, are you excited yet? Mighty God of Daniel. Let's go back to the word. In verse 5, Peter was kept in prison. Peter was what? Kept in what? Prison. But prayer, say prayer. Prayer was made without ceasing by the church unto God for him. You see, when we talk about a prison, what are we talking about? We are talking about a place that legally holds you for punishment, legally holds you for trial, or they put you there awaiting trial. You see, the devil has imprisoned some of us. He has imprisoned our ministries, imprisoned our education, Education, imprisoned our marriages, imprisoned our careers, imprisoned our destinies, imprisoned our possessions, imprisoned our businesses, imprisoned our traveling. And you see, the devil is saying, I have sentenced you to prison, and you are tried and proven guilty. Whether you're awaiting trial or they have judged you, but prison is operating. But I'm here to tell somebody prophetically that it is time for jailbreaker. Because what the enemy meant for evil my god will turn it around for good what the enemy did against your life god says the court of heaven has judged what the enemy has done mighty god there's an appellate court called the court of heaven today i prophetically appeal unto the court of heaven for your life i prophetically appeal from this altar unto the court of heaven for your destiny today is jailbreaker i said today is jailbreaker Today is jailbreaker. Are you hearing me, saints? Are you hearing me, Facebook world? Today is jailbreak. Say jailbreak. Say jailbreak. Come on, say jailbreak. See, we have to do this thing quick because we don't have much time. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the Bible said the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Yes, 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 yes. About 14,000 demons was guarding Peter because Peter was up at the upper echelon. Mighty God of Daniel. Two men and 14,000 demons was guarding this man. And he was bound with two chains. So if that wasn't bad enough, prison, two men, chains. My God, when the devil is ready to lock you down, he makes sure that he does everything for you to be held captive, for you to be held down. But I'm here to prophesy jail breaker. I'm here to say to somebody that the chains are coming off. I'm here to say to someone that the Egyptians that you see today, you will see them no more forever. I'm here to say to someone that the enemy, though he may come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. It could be two men, four men, eight men, ten men, twelve men, sixteen men. I don't care how many men the devil is using to vex the church in this season. I don't care the substance of their financial power. I don't care the level of their demonic investment. Tonight the prophet of the Lord is here to say that the church is gonna experience a jailbreak. That the people of God is gonna experience a jailbreak. What has been held captive for years and days and months and decades is about to be released. I can't keep myself quiet because I know something has been released from heaven. Oh my God, my God. When Pharaoh held Israel captive for 400 years, my God, systemic oppression, racism, classism, bigotry, you name it, Israel was going under it. And if that wasn't enough, there were men that had whips. There were men 
that I chase. They killed whomever they liked without consequence. Mighty God of Daniel, they buried whomever they liked without fear. They took whomever they liked without any issue or legal system to block what they were doing. But a day came, a day came, a day came when their cry, according to Psalm 34, went up to God. My God, my God, my God, love and faith, I am here to tell you, I am here to say to you that your cry has gone up to God, that deliverance has come. Mighty God of Daniel, oh God, strengthen me. I said your deliverance has come. I said your breakthrough has come. A day came when a man, unassuming, I suspect he had a little white beard. I suspect he may have looked a little unassuming in his presence. He had nothing to be desired. His speech wasn't so good. He wasn't the best of orators. But he carried a mantle. Say mantle. He carried on his feet a sandals. He had in his hand a staff. And in the world, in his mouth, was the word of power. I'm here to tell you today that God is putting in your hand a staff of authority. God is putting back on your feet your sandals. God is putting back upon your back your mantle. God is putting in your mouth the word of power. Say word of power. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. My God, some of you can't show because you have on the mask. Man. There is no COVID inside here. You're six feet apart. Take off your mask and shout for God's sake. Yes, you are six feet apart. Take off your mask and shout. Let heaven hear you. Let the world hear you. Let the land hear you. Jailbreak. 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 Come on, somebody. Shout. Jailbreak. Shout. Jailbreak. Jailbreak. 